Well, Alan English is now here, who ghosted Paul O'Connell's autobiography. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan English. <laughs> Welcome to our Thanks very much. Yeah, 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 it's a pleasure. This book took a little while to write, didn't it? Yeah, it ended up taking seven years. That wasn't the plan at the start. Um, we began working on it in 2009 when Paul thought he only had maybe two years left. He was finding the pressure of being a top performing rugby star quite uh, overbearing, overpowering. Um, so he, he wanted to make an early start. As it turned out, he stuck in there. And, and the book is really about, it's called The Battle, and that's what it was for him in the latter half of his career. And I think that's the, that's the, uh, the main narrative of the book. So how did the writing process work between the two of you, if it was strung out over almost yeah, seven well, years? Yeah, well, we, we're both Limerick men, proud Limerick men. Uh, we, we live 10 minutes apart. So we would have uh, met, I think I did something like 90 or 100 interviews with him over that period of time. Um, I'm a journalist myself, so he was telling me a lot of you know, great juicy news stories, none of which I could <laughs> ever use. Um, but yeah, we, we, got, we, got, we became good friends, I think, over the process. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a fantastic guy, great rugby player, but, you know, a tremendous human being. Were there things that you learned about him that surprised you, that you didn't know I, I, before? I, I mean, I, I certainly was surprised by, um, you know, how much of a, of a struggle it was, a mental struggle. Um, you know, laterally, it was more of a physical struggle, you know, but uh, he's found it quite easy early on in his career. And then when he realised what the stakes were and when, when he became captain of Munster, I think um, he felt the expectation uh, quite um, overpowering. Um, and you know he really had to dig in in order to get the best out of himself. So that uh, that journey that he went on was was surprising to me, and um, I think it comes across hopefully quite well in, 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 the, in the pages of the book. You mentioned the player Paul O'Connell. Mm. You know, will we see the likes of, of his type of player again? He, he's a very old school player. You know, he uh, he started out at a club in Limerick called Young Munster. Um, who uh, were not known for their uh, flair rugby. You know, it was real forward stuff. It was get stuck in. His heroes were, were the hard men of, 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 of Limerick rugby, like Peter Clausey, uh, guys who weren't known for, um, you know, fancy Dan passing, you know, really, really get stuck <laughs> in. Uh, and, you know, he was quite, uh, you know, he got picked up a lot of yellow cards uh, early in his career and, and maybe controlled that aspect of his game a bit better in, in latter years when he realized that in discipline, yeah, cost rugby teams matches, um, but yeah, an, an old school, um, an old school career, and, and I think yeah, it, it, we won't see that that again in the in the game. So, what do you think winning this award will mean to him, as much as it must mean to well, you? Well, he was ambitious. He was ambitious for the book. I mean, he, he, you know, he, 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 a lot of um, I think a lot of books are, are afterthoughts. They, they they come together very quickly. Um, he's a big sports reader. He he would have read quite a few of the books that have been featured here tonight. He's He's always been a voracious reader, um, and he didn't want his book um, to be an average book. So that's why um, you know he wanted to commit to it. Uh, he was always available. You know, he's uh, he spent a lot of time with me uh, in the latter stages of the book, going going through it line by line, word by word. Um, so I think uh, I hope he was proud of the book, and I'm sure he'd be delighted. Um, with the, with the recognition it has achieved here tonight. We'll make sure you pass on our congratulations Absolutely. from everybody here. Alan, congratulations to yourself. Thanks very much. Alan uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>